I am going to show you what my day is like. It's Monday. <laughs> and so I'm looking after Joey, my friend's dog. And um, he gets worked up over the, I don't know, things that I can't even see. He sees things and then he gets all excited. So we've got this going on. So I have to tie him up, otherwise he runs around all over the place. I have the cat on the roof. <laughs> hey, Beijers, because the dog is chasing the cat and the cat doesn't like the dogs anyway. The drilling has stopped for a moment, but we have more drilling today. And we have just taken delivery, <laughs> say we, of all of this stuff here, <laughs> ready for the floor. So all of this is going to become a floor. And I'm waiting for delivery of my water heater as well. I forgot about that. Welcome to my stone house here in Monsanto. I knew as soon as I saw it, I loved it. So I sold my house in Luria and bought my dream home in the heart of the countryside with Monsanto blooming on one side and the most beautiful mountain range on the other. And my new project of renovating this old stone house and rejuvenating the forgotten vineyard and orchard garden will begin. I'm going to have to put Joey inside because Bejo's has decided to just stay here on the roof, which is driving the dog nuts. A little update after Monday and this doorway here is now looking quite straight although most of this looks still, still got more to do it's been a big job and we have oh, look at all the f paw prints wow of all the animals that came in here last night <laughs> This sand was basically uh, flat yesterday and uh, now there's been like so many paw prints, like some big paw prints, as well as all the cat prints that have been here. So we've put the layer of sand in here now, ready for laying the floor. I'm not sure what comes next, whether the... They've got lots of gravel outside or whether it's the insulation. But actually, I think you can get an idea now of the size of this room. It is raining outside today. So I am going to do a little project inside. So I'm not sure if you remember, my friend gifted me a couple of trees. And I said at the time that... Um, I thought it would be really nice for those people that gift gifted me um, trees or plants that I make a sign with their name on it. So that is what I'm going to attempt to try and do today. <laughs> so I have written Sonia's name on here and now I'm just going to, with this nail and hammer, <laughs> I'm going to make little holes all around where I have put the letters. And then afterwards, I'm gonna try and chisel it out, probably with a, a flat screwdriver. But let, let's see how this works out.
So I found a good way of working on the surface next to where I cook on a piece of non-slip rubber matting that I had in the van. So now I can work properly. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with that. That's probably needs to be a little bit wider, um, but it's certainly deep enough. So it's a good, good template to um, then do a little bit more with. It's Tuesday afternoon and the builders have just left. And I have to tell you that at the moment here, it has got really cold. The sun is now shining during the day, but at night the temperature is dropping to about three degrees. And the wind here is like a northwesterly wind at the moment, and it's freezing. So look, that's why I've got all these layers. I've got three layers on outside. <laughs> anyway, so I thought I would show you what has been happening today. The door is now looking more like a square shape not square shape, double door shape. <laughs> and there's still lots of work to be done on it because they've had to rebuild up the walls here on the side and then they will make it all look nice and pretty afterwards. This is just the first part to build it back up. And we can see that we have four lintels, concrete lintels, across the wall to support the obviously the wall above and the roof and this will need to be repointed because obviously here along here is all been cracking but that can be fixed so what's been happening in here like I showed you yesterday the sand on the floor so today the plumber came and put in some pipes and it doesn't really seem to be very many pipes but there is um i think it's going to i'm not sure where it's coming in oh, it's coming in over here somewhere i think these pipes are in the wrong place because they're meant to go to the boil the boiler and they will be none of this will be seen the, so those pipes really should be where that pipe is but that's for the washing machine and the boiler is actually going over the top of the washing machine but that will all be inside a cupboard so it won't be seen so yeah they all I think this is this is going to be for the waste which is going outside so they've dug a trench here for the waste and then the pipes just oh just fell down a hole <laughs> the pipes just run at the moment down here and end just there they've been capped at the moment they've just been lifted out of the way of the doorway actually there so obviously they'll extend down there I guess what surprises me I mean I'm not a plumber but you know is the thinness of the pipes I guess the pipes don't have to be big and fat <laughs> uh, at all really and it just seems so simple like a simple job plumbing seems to be easy these days not like before with the old metal pipes <laughs> in houses so so yeah so that's another thing done how exciting is this honestly I get excited by the smallest of things this pipe coming out of the wall because this is going to be the start of where the waste comes out of the house and ends up it's going to have to go underground all the way underground 
over to there somewhere where apparently is where the um oh i always forget the name of it <laughs> the place where all the gray and dirty water goes oh, i can't septic tank that's it apparently the septic tank is over there under the bathroom somewhere so hopefully it is <laughs> But we will find out when we dig it up. Anyway, for now. Whoops. I've been told I'm not allowed to walk in here. So what's been happening is there is this plastic, should we call it a membrane? Cheat, plastic. And then there is insulation going on the floor so that's been done today and I think you can see that the leveling has been done now on there just here so yeah I'm getting excited because it's starting to look like well the insides of something of a house <laughs> i think it's going to qu so quickly come together once um yeah when these all these little things are done like for example when all this gets sorted out and then it's painted you know that's going to look amazing and yes hi i am i oh, just love every day <laughs> and seeing the changes that are happening here the sun has returned to Portugal. Hooray! <laughs> it's late afternoon and I just wanted to show you something I'm working on in the garden. So along this wall, as I think I mentioned in a previous video, I want to plant bougainvillea. And originally I was going to make a fence like that one at the back there with wire and posts but as I was cutting all of the sticks from the tree I thought why not try and make a natural fence and although it's not going to last forever it's going to I don't know I just feel like it's um a better a better a good use of the sticks that I'm cutting and also it just blends in more with the natural environment but we will see because I'm not sure if the weight of the bougainvillea will become too much for the sticks I am going to put a lot more sticks along here and weave them through I'm probably going to use some of the the um, olive tree branches as well I've seen people use those too so yeah because then it'll have some foliage on it now which would be quite nice so yeah we're gonna see how this evolves oh and the other thing is i have planted some things in my vegetable garden so there's four little lettuces planted and actually i also planted down here some garlic you can probably see look there's one here um four garlics along here because i had some garlic and they started sprouting so i thought i might as well plant them in the ground and see what happens It's lunchtime and everyone has disappeared. And this is how the floor is looking. Nice and smooth. And so I'm using the, this gravel first and then putting the concrete mix on the top and obviously there's some wire here for support as well 
So by the end of today, this will be finished. The process that they are using to level the floor is they put like mounds of cement and made sure that the tops of those, there's another one there, they did it along, that were all level. And then they pour the cement in level with that and then they check it and level it all the way around. And you can see here that they've done the same thing. And then they kind of fill in the middle part of it. Here is my beautiful finished floor. Now, the only thing I notice, which I will go and check, is that doesn't seem to be quite level with the concrete step, which is what I thought it was going to be, but it may be just be an optical illusion from where I am at the moment. Okay, so it is pretty much as probably as good as it can be and level, level with this stone here because I think there's bits of it that like here that are a little bit higher I mean it's practically it's practically there it's not something I think I'm going to trip on <laughs> hopefully not it's going to be weird to actually just walk into this room now and step <laughs> onto a floor oops the door's shutting on me ah but, ah, it looks so cool. So what I am going to do is write my name in the concrete. And I think, do I put today's date? Yeah, I think I should put, maybe I should put my age. No, maybe, okay, just my name. Just my name and the date. Oh, this one's set. It does seem a shame <laughs> to ruin this smooth surface, but...
I managed to chop all the really, really tall sticks from all over the top of the tree. It was quite a mammoth job in the end, but I'm happy that it is finally done. And now I just have a lot of sticks everywhere. And my tulips have started to bloom. They're very short at the moment, but I guess they're going to grow up. Good morning from Monsanto in Portugal. It's the end of the week and I am just off to meet up with my friend Phil for our regular Friday morning cup of coffee. And as I was walking, I was passed by an old man and lady on their tractor. And yesterday, a man came past on his donkey, past the house. And I, I just had this realization, these people are all pretty old. And the younger Portuguese generation are not living in this local area as a whole because there is and as you work online which obviously these days a lot of people do and from home um or you're a builder if you're a builder or a carpenter or a tradesman then here is a great place to live because the europeans are coming here buying the ruins and making them good but in not so many years time when these old people Portuguese people are no longer here. This area is going to have a different population. It's going to be that more of European people. So, yeah, and that's probably going to happen in my lifetime. Because let me think, okay, <laughs> I might live, well, I hope that I could live to 100. That's my goal. <laughs> I would love that so long as I'm healthy. So that's another 42 years. So now you know my age. So 42 years, I mean, a lot happens in 42 years, doesn't it? I mean, my goodness, if we look back to see what's happened over the last 42 years, I wouldn't be talking to you now via video on my mobile phone, via YouTube across the world. So yeah, it's gonna be, interesting to see what happens I mean and then that leads me on to the thought about you know the the experiences and the memories that older people have I mean I feel like I have a lot but they have so much more and what a privilege you know to have grown so old and to have so many experiences and seen so much in life um, although obviously at the moment with the way the world is, um, it's uh, not such a great world at the moment. Um, but hopefully in another 42 years, we might have more peace and love and respect for life in this world than we currently do. So I'm getting oh, a bit deep this morning, gone from one thing to another. So yeah, I just it was just a thought. So I just thought I would share it with with my community here and see what you think. <laughs>